David Robinson felt loss and shame in his early life. His faith was tested, and at some point he almost lost one of the most important people in his life, someone who was a huge part of his family. His parents valued education more than anything else, but did they ever support his basketball dreams? The San Antonio Spurs select David Robinson from Navy. This is the incredible story of the Admiral's family, and this is Basketball Dive. David Maurice Robinson was born on August 6, 1965 in Key West, Florida. The origin and background of Ambrose and his wife was not documented very well, but with the support of his wife, Ambrose ensured that his kids never took education for granted. If Ambrose was a pastor, he would probably have preached the sermon of education in his church every day. It's like Thomas Edison said, he found 10,000 ways that a light bulb wouldn't work. And he learned, at least, that there were 10,000 ways it wouldn't work before he got the one to work. He was a well-educated man who worked as an engineer with the U.S. Navy, so it was obvious that his kids were going to follow the scholastic path, right? If you get an education, nobody can take that away, and that's what she's alluding to. Well, this was the case for all of his children, including the NBA legend David, who wanted to be an engineer himself, just like his pops. He even went as far as enlisting into the U.S. Naval Academy and was not really all that into basketball, even though he played on the basketball team there. But while he pursued engineering, he just wouldn't stop growing, as he went from around 6'6 six six when he joined the Navy to about 7' foot tall even by the time he left. Now, it was expected that his father would not let the call of basketball drown out the sound of education for his boy, especially when David was doing particularly great at school. It was said that Robinson had attended school for the gifted and had a 1320 score on his SAT. So, obviously his dad wouldn't let him get distracted by sports, right? Well, his father, who was working specifically as a sonar technician, gave him all the support he needed. He let him play ball while David also acquired a degree in mathematics from the Naval Academy. His father once spoke of this period, quote, We didn't push him toward the academy, but we did guide him. The biggest advantage is its academic structure and togetherness. It's his decision, but I hope he stays. He's so at home there, he forgets to call home here." End quote. And today he has a son who is a Hall of Famer and who many kids aspire to be just like. But after raising three brilliant kids, Ambrose, in his retirement, started a business with his wife called The Robinson Group, which is a management company based in San Antonio, Texas that deals in marketing, business development, and other services. Ambrose and his wife enjoyed a supportive and understanding partnership by all accounts, and it needed to be so because while Ambrose ensured he was a present father, his job usually took him away from home to work at sea for several months. This meant that his wife acted as both father and mother in his absence. And see, I taught my children, don't let that cripple you, make you think you can't do it. I said, let that make you work harder, let that work as a motivation. Frida Robinson was a loving and dedicated wife and mother. That sounds about right, but she wasn't a housewife. She didn't wait for the bread to come home for her. She was also a hardworking mother who worked as a nurse and made sure her kids attended church every week, even though David would not be fully open to Christianity until he was a full-blown NBA star. The Admiral is always appreciative of his mother and what she was able to do for him, just like when he had spoken about her during a visit to a military family event held in Texas in 2019. He had said, quote, I remember what she would always say, well, you just wait till your dad gets home, I'm going to tell him everything you did. But I saw what she did to keep our family strong. I just know what it takes for spouses of military families. I know the energy, the effort, what it means, how you're the backbone of the family. End quote. Now, in case you're itching to know how to raise scholars as well as an NBA legend, you're in luck. On New Year's Day in 96, Frida and Ambrose Robinson, together with Steve Hubbard, a sports journalist and writer, published a book called How to Raise an MVP. In the book, the Robinsons talked about what they did as parents to ensure their children, Kim, David, and Chuck, became notable achievers in their various fields. We are all witnesses to what David Robinson, who is the middle child, has been able to accomplish, but what was the case for his older sister, Kimberly, and younger brother, Chuck?
Well, here's a funny story. Growing up, it is said that Kim was the Robinson child who aspired to be famous the most. She wanted it badly. As a kid, she wanted to be a star and would pretend to sign autographs at home. But as David grew taller and bigger, he seemed to have bullied the dream of stardom out of her hands without any intention or effort. Anyway, Kim outgrew her spotlight dreams and looked towards scholarly heights instead. She was working on her doctorate's degree by the time her brothers were still in the Navy Academy around the late 1990s. As for Chuck Robinson, he didn't become like his superstar brother even though he played basketball himself, and the truth is, he never wanted to be like his brother. He was cool being in his shadows. No, scratch that, he was cool being the little brother of a superstar. Even when he was still a teen, he was an impressive gymnast who excitedly played his part as a ball boy and towel bearer in the Naval Academy where his brother played basketball. So you bet he could do some backflips if his brother makes a highlight reel on the court. Then, when he became of age, Chuck Robinson decided to attend the same college as his brother, despite knowing he'd always be seen as David's little brother. He told the Washington Post in 1992 when asked why he picked the Navy. Quote, Why Navy? I just thought to myself, why not? I've always been one for a little adversity. It really doesn't bother me to be compared to him, in fact it's great to try to live up to it. I really didn't come here to be great in basketball, I came to be great in life, and few things prepare you better than being at Navy. End quote. Chuck played as a forward, and despite not having his brother's height, he shared his athletic ability. He wasn't at the Navy College to pursue a basketball career though, and he graduated and went on to have a career with the Force just like their dad, but it isn't clear in what capacity he worked. David Robinson on the other hand of course went on to become an NBA sensation, and he apparently found God along the way and started a family of his own. Robinson's love for God and his strong moral compass would reward him with an amazing life partner, but it wasn't easy at first. The story of Valerie Haggett and David Robinson is one that would make a nice romantic drama. Valerie is an African American woman who was brought up in a Christian home, and she first met David in 1988 through a friend when the NBA legend was on temporary duty for the Navy in Port Hanami, California. While David remained in California for a few months, they built the relationship and continued dating long distance when he left back to base in Kings Bay, but they were able to visit each other as much as possible in their separate towns. However, in 1991, Robinson ended things with her, citing his inability to love her the way she loved him. He was temporarily carried away by other women, but he was never truly happy. It was after he had an encounter with Greg Ball, an evangelist in the locker room, that things began to change. Robinson found comfort in reading the Bible and in fully accepting Christianity. But something was still missing, or rather, someone was missing. David recalled in an interview about how he got his girl back. Quote, I called her and told her how I'd been reading the Bible. She said she also had been reading the Bible. And we got back together. We read the Bible together. She was the same sweet, wonderful person she had been before and is now. I just hadn't been paying attention. End quote. This time around, David wasn't going to mess up a second chance, so months later he proposed to her and they were wed in September 1991. But besides being known as the wife of David Robinson, Valerie Haggett is a philanthropist and quite a reputable one. She co-founded Idea Carver Academy with her husband in 2001, and together they've been responsible for thousands of children by providing them education. If Valerie and her husband have been able to do so much for children in their community, you can only imagine the amount of motherly love she shows her three sons, David Jr., Corey, and Justin Robinson. Born in 1993, the eldest child of David and Valerie Robinson sure does take after his dad in his work ethic and attitude, but just not his affinity for sports. Having gotten a degree in regional and urban planning from the University of Texas, David Robinson Jr. has worked in real estate in several capacities, including Weston Urban as a director of placemaking, then Blueprint Local, and later Admiral Holding, which he co-founded with his father. Jr. doesn't just share his dad's name and looks, but also his kind heart and a strong sense of humanity. The David Robinson Fellowship gives student scholarships worth $16,000 and mentorship on life during and after college. This allows individuals to stand a better chance in life. I went to UT Austin. It's, 
you know, 50, 60,000 kids. I had no idea what to do. David Robinson Jr. is heavily involved in his joint philanthropic venture with his dad, and the NBA legend is always proud to speak about his son whenever he gets the chance. He once told reporters, quote, to have him by my side and to see his expertise and perspective on the world, it's amazing, end quote. David Robinson Jr. in his response said, quote, with the legacy my mom and dad have built, there's a lot to look up to and there's still so much for us to do, me and my two younger brothers, end quote. You know what they say, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. He may not have filled his dad's shoes sports-wise, but he doesn't need to worry. His brothers did, and it's safe to say David Robinson Jr. was the Robinson of real estate, but as for his other brothers, Corey and Justin, they did choose sports. Corey Robinson is the second child of David, born in January 1995. Being the son of an NBA legend, you have good genes for sports, and Corey was putting them to good use. Corey played football in high school, and as a senior at San Antonio Christian School, he had 67 receptions for 1,414 yards and 20 touchdowns as a wide receiver. He won the Glenn Davis Army Award for his high school performance and was elected to play in the U.S. Army All-American Bowl. So, hearing that, I'm sure it isn't surprising to hear that he became a four-star recruit and ranked as the 43rd best receiver in the entire country. He soon committed to play college football for the University of Notre Dame and was on the path to being a football megastar and proving that a Robinson can also dominate and excel in any sport they played. He was named a first-team All-American and was a starter by his sophomore year, but having suffered a series of injuries and a third-degree concussion, Corey unfortunately had to hang up his cleats in 2016 before he graduated. Although his days as a wide receiver are long over, Corey Robinson looked to other ways to make an impact. One of those ways was running for student body president at Notre Dame. With mentorship from a sports coach who was a fencing champion and a student body president during his own time, Corey Robinson had his work cut out for him. But with all the values instilled in him by his parents, he did a great job as student president by all accounts. Corey went on to become a TV personality and sports journalist, he worked for NBC, was a host for World Chase Tag, and was also a sideline correspondent for the 2020 Olympics. It's unfortunate that injuries and circumstances deterred Corey's full sports potential, but that can be said about his younger brother, Justin Robinson. Born on October 14, 1996, Justin Michael Robinson is the third son and last born of David and Valerie Robinson. Justin Robinson, having a similar growth spurt to his dad, would share his dad's basketball legacy and be the only son of the Hall of Famer to fill his dad's basketball shoes. Okay, maybe not fill his shoes per se, but he did become a basketball player nonetheless. Justin attended San Antonio Christian School where he played high school basketball and was part of the school district all team. He went on to play college basketball at Duke, where he sat mostly on the bench, but played alongside the likes of Brandon Ingram, and he won the ACC championship with Duke in 2017 and 2019. But after graduating with a degree in psychology and then earning a master's in management studies, the power forward went undrafted in 2020. He eventually signed with Mornar Bar in the basketball league in Montenegro before moving to Israel to play there. He may not be as clutch as his dad, but he does have character. Now making it to the NBA when your dad is David Robinson may seem disappointing and even surprising given how nepotism isn't a new thing in sports, but it just goes to show that in the Robinson family, you have to earn your stripes. And who knows, maybe one day we'll see Justin Robinson play in the NBA. And that's the story of the family of David Robinson. If you enjoyed this video, then you'd like our next one about Kevin Garnett, whose family story has got a lot of people talking lately. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more.